the way. We were both here in Altona with our loads of canola. And it looks to be a beautiful sunny day. There's a nice breeze already, so hopefully when we get back, the guys, uh, Daryl and Dylan and Narch, uh, have, they'll be working on the headers to get the combines from Trover Bean. So hopefully we can have a, a good crack at it today, but we'll see what happens. I got a lot of trucks in front of me. Ah, oh, not too bad. One, there's three in front of Peter. And then there's an extra one, two, three, four between us. So. so yeah, it's uh, five to eight. From the pitch to us, there's roughly uh, 10 trucks. So we'll see how long this takes to get dumped. minutes and I'm getting probed. Here at Bungie they want us em emptying from the front back which is very uncommon because we want to keep weight on our drives in case something goes wrong but they say there won't be. It's a lot faster they say if we unload starting from the front. Good morning. Canola's done. It's bean day. So we gotta do some quick converting to the uh, combines here yet before uh, we get into, not the combines as much as the headers. Um, before we get into the beans, while I was doing some paperwork inside this morning, uh, Bill and Arch took end dividers off and they put the small ones on. And now I just got to take plates off the bottom, so. These are the little nose cones that get replaced instead of those big dividers. And then I got to take off all of these. There's seven of them under here. They got to come off. Okay, so we got those plates all off. Headers are both ready to go. Just a matter now of putting them, letting the air out of the system and then they'll be in flex mode, so. Looks like we can't do harvest in 2023 without GoPros. GoPro was sitting on the fuel tank and I got a call on the radio. Uh, dumb question, can you bring my GoPro? Yes, yes I can. Okay, so my lovely wife brought me my camera. We are combining already. We've each made a pass. Um, just playing with things. I'm gonna do things the old school way. And if I go by this, I've got one bean there, there, and a cracked one. 
So that's the old school way of doing things. I ain't gonna be happy with that. So we'll drop the pan and see what Mr. Bushel Plus has to tell us. So just off of last year's settings, this is what our sample looks like. Very, very good. Maybe a few more pods in here than I would care for. But for the most part, it's looking pretty good. Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary, but uh, pretty sure we can do better. Okay, so I dropped the first pan on the uh, left side over there. Now I've moved the pan over to the right side of the headers, so we're gonna drop it and see if you can see it. And there it goes. So now we're gonna go see what that is. On the left hand side we had my header, everything two on auto. cracks, we'll go so we'll see what it is. So this is the other side of the combine. Like I said, the left side I had two cracks. So that I wasn't worried about. Now we'll see what the right hand side's got. I think not much different. Just drop one more in the so we got nothing in here again. I'll weigh it, but we're looking at two small little cracks in here. This isn't very common for us to be uh, starting beans by September 20th. I don't think. Crops are a lot earlier. I'm really hoping our corn's dry too. That would be even better. We've already been going uh, in this year field, but um, got a lot more going on here than what I thought. It's amazing how when you can get your speed going and get everything dialed in, um, you get lots accomplished in a mighty big hurry. So according to the um, hour meter here, we've been on this field roughly three hours already, and we've probably got... 100, 100 to 110 acres done here, so, and we just got everything dialed in, the, um, the headlands are all done, so that's good, that's always time consuming. No idea what our aspirations were for the day, but I do know this, 
all year long just because of the weather. It was good for cereals and for the canola. But uh, beans like moisture and that we were not having an abundance of so we weren't exactly sure what to expect. Um, to be honest when you look at in here normally I don't like to see dirt as much as we are uh, but there's a little bit of branching off which I'm seeing more now than I was a week ago so but because of that I kind of had in my mind that eh, it's not going to be a huge being here hopefully we can get somewhere in that 30 maybe 35 which is still a good crop but um, just not the same as some of the other crops are been so but we're going and um, it appears at first glance that it too will surprise us and that it too will yield better than what we were thinking so again this is field one of many and we already know that there's 500 acres with lots of hail damage so that's gonna be a mess but for right now in this field and this field is making me smile all right i've got load number three peter had to we can't keep up with trucking so peter just got back with that one and he's got more than enough to fill me now my load oh don't do sign language to me now just fill me up fill me up Anyway, we uh, first load I took was 11.7 and 0.6 dockage. As you can see, the sample is pretty awesome. So this will be our third Super B that we're taking off and we're about half done. About half done. So. Yep, going good. They're moving good. More TikTok jokes or what? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Okay, I'm out of here. You're good? Okay, perfect. See you later. Keep plucking away here. The wind is just in the wrong direction today. Well, let me rephrase that. The wind's in the direction it is today, but as you can see the calm line, right now it's perfect because it's going straight back. But when we get turned around, I will show you. We're going to be going perfectly with the wind, which is chasing the soybean dust right back into the calm line, the water compartment and everywhere else. So that's got to be careful with some of that stuff. Um, yeah. Lots of warm parts back there. We do not want this soybean dust on, so just have it to be extra careful. Could have changed our angle, but we're getting close to the end of this field, so hopefully we can just get her done. There it is again. Visibility. We didn't know any better. It almost looks like a snowstorm, except it's a dust storm.
that's gonna warn him his bin's full. And if I keep on doing that, it might be annoying in the cab. Combine's done. Daryl is in the back one. He's finished up. They're both heading to unload. And we've knocked this 240 off. I consider that a pretty good first day of soybeans. Uh, getting things all switched over. Eh, it just takes time. So 240. We're not done yet. We gotta fill we wanna fill this truck up for the morning. So we're gonna head off. Next field is two miles straight that way. It's a 480 acre field, and uh, we're gonna see if we can do enough of it that uh, we can fill the truck up. And uh, yeah, let's we'll see what it did, what it's gonna do. This field did a lot better than what we were expecting. Um, just by how it's did, uh, how the soybeans look and everything, we were kind of, well, we'll just say we were at difference. Daryl was thinking 35 bushel an acre. I was thinking there was definitely 40 plus, and not too often, I'm right. Um, and for this time I was. This field, uh, it did a healthy 45, and considering the rains and everything that we had, uh, I think we're, we're very happy with that. So this field was kind of one of our better ones. We got a couple, the next field we're going to, it looks pretty good too, and we got another one that looks pretty good. And we got like uh, 480 acres that got hammered with hail. If you uh, followed us, you've saw, seen that earlier in the summer, we got absolutely hammered with hail. So we're guessing it's gonna be half the yield, hopefully, but we'll see. Nothing we can do about that. And we have hail insurance, so at least helps out a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much a wrap. We'll head over to the next field and get it started, but Hopefully nothing uh, traumatic happens. I mean, we can just get the truck full. We can get the truck full and call that a day. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking down to watch and have yourself a good one.